Hi, it's Jan Beta, and today I'm here with a little, um, hopefully, pretty short little video. Um, I recently got this Tag 2 joystick by um, Suncom, which is uh, quite the legendary thing, actually. It's, it's a really, really old um, controller, but it is pretty good. And it is built in a way that um, no other joystick basically is built, so it's pretty interesting. And this one, the one I got, has a little problem. It has a little loose contact in the cable. If I wiggle it, it works perfectly fine, and then I wiggle it in the other direction and it stops working to work if I push it up. So uh, that's kind of a pain, because it's otherwise it's a really nice joystick. It's a bit scratchy and stuff, but that doesn't matter anyway. It plays really well. So I thought this is a good opportunity to look inside this uh, quite unique joystick and see what makes it work and replace the cable and hopefully fix it. So let's get it on. And here's our first problem. It has kind of like square whatever these are called, but it's a square um, screw head, so none of this Phillips rubbish. I have to look for a screwdriver. Luckily it seems like my iFixit uh, screwdriver or bit set has these um, square ones also. Here's some square ones. And I think it might just be the medium sized one. Yes. Ta-da. And yeah, as you can see, it's pretty unusual. There's this ball that has the ground connection on it. And the switches are actually metal leaves here that the ball touches and these are connected to the cables and uh, the buttons are one big copper ring that closes the contact between these two leaves here so if there's anything that's indestructible it's probably this joystick this is rubber, so it has a, li has a little springiness to it. This is a steel rod, <laughs> and yeah, it's pretty indestructible, I would say. Plastic is very rigid. And yeah, basically you can just uh, file this a bit if the, the buttons stop working, or just turn it a bit and they work again. And this here seems to, yeah, it probably works forever. So I got a replacement cable that I also got at Polyplay, where I ordered uh, quite some stuff. And I heard that these are color-coded from some point in time on. These cables are color-coded, which seems to be the case here. There's a green one, a black one, Brown one, orange one. Yeah, that's pretty convenient. So I just have to solder on the wires to the according colors, I think. And that's probably it. Yeah. And it also seems to be the right um, size of cable that will perfectly fit in here. That's pretty nice. Okay, so let's. Uh, I think, do I have to measure anything? I just, just try it, I think. I just have a go. What could go wrong? <laughs> no.
Okay, so that was kind of easy, I think. Let's put it back together and test it. So the only thing that really is uh, you have to take care of is to make everything fit um, mechanically, so nothing shorts out or stresses out or something like that. Okay. Let's try. Let's go with River Raid. I love River Raid. River Raid is a great game. Might be the other joystick port, actually. Let's see. Yes, it is the other joystick port, so I'm gonna start that again. <laughs> and while I'm at it, I'm also going to put back the screws. If I find them, that is. Oh, there they are. So this is uh, apparently quite a quick video because I don't have an awful lot of time at the moment and uh, at work there's uh, yeah there's a lot going on basically so I'm pretty exhausted and uh, don't have time to make a huge video there are going to be bigger videos again don't worry and there's there's going to be the the kind of Christmas special thing that I mentioned uh, in the last video and yeah, it's gonna be there, it's all gonna be there. So no worries there. Okay, so good to go. Let's put it in the other joystick port. And oh, the other way around, of course. And let's start River Raid again. <laughs> okay, here we go. Yeah, and this. Forward, backward, left, right, fire. This is working a treat again. So that was quite an easy fix. Uh, anyway, um, thanks for watching. If you want to support my work, you can check out my Patreon page that I'm going to link in the corner. Wow, uh, sorry. And uh, you can also subscribe to this channel. There's going to be a lot of a lot more like this stuff, retro computer repairs, and also some audio stuff. And yeah, follow me on Twitter, get in touch. Always happy to communicate if I can find the time. Um, mostly I find the time, but it's gonna take some days recently because I just had a lot of new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing, thank you for supporting me. This all means a lot to me and I'm having great fun. And there's a lot of interesting stuff to come. So, thank you. Hope to see you again on this channel. I'm Jan Beta. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>